Time for a little bit of a tier list. We're gonna be rating Twitch streamers, all right? So there's a category of don't watch and then who I don't know, right? So there's gonna be a lot of people here that I know but I don't necessarily watch and then there's gonna be people I just don't know, all right? So let's uh, let's go through it. First, 39 Daft, don't know who that is. Aiden Ross, all right. Guys, we're gonna, chill out, we're gonna go find. Aiden Ross, I'd say he's like an, uh, he's probably gonna end up being low A, all right? As a person, I think he's pretty flimsy, right? He's He kind of goes back and forth. He doesn't really have a backbone. A lot of the shit he does with Andrew Tate, not necessarily that I hate Andrew Tate, but he just f feeds into his god, god complex over and over and over and over. And he's like a little bitch boy to him, right? Him being like Tate is really just being a bitch to him. It's not, I see it as less him inspiring him and more him being Tate's bitch. So he'll be like low A, but on a real note, he's done a lot for Twitch in terms of like, bringing in like a whole new wave of people right because there's the there's the the, the the pog champ community on twitch and then there's the wl community on twitch right and the wl community was pretty much brought by aiden ross um uh very much popularized by him um and it's not necessarily a bad thing right but it, it's a whole different audience that he brought and i mean the bigger twitch is it does have some issues with communities mixing but it, it's it's good for the site overall in my opinion um, Admiral Ban, I have no clue who that is. Alinity, bro, she has to be, like, low D. She literally, she literally has no fucking, she, she has no, re like, respect for herself at all. Amaranth. <laughs> okay. I like her personality, so I gotta put her an S. Nah, on a real note, though, um, her content is, like, well... You know her content. But at least she's free from her abusive husband, which is a big dub, right? And she's doing what she wants. She's getting her bag. But, like, her content is just, like, pool sh Yeah. But she's way hotter than Alinity, so. All right, Andy Milanakis. Andy Milanakis is funny as fuck. Um, he used to be around XQC a lot when I used to watch him way back in the day. He's a really, really, really funny guy. I love him. If you don't know him, get to know him. I think he's funny. He's done some... He Yeah, he does stream. Or he used to. Uh, he's just, like, in the Twitch community, at least. Um, I haven't watched him in a long time or even, like, heard anything too much about him. But I used to like him back in the day. I He's done some things that I think are a little controversial, but... Asmongold! Instant. Uh, wait, sorry. Asmongold's instant S tier. Instant high S tier. Alright, if you don't know Asmongold, he streams World of Warcraft and, uh, some other games. He does variety every now and then. Um, you literally just have to watch him for, like, 10 seconds to understand... He is, like, a god tier at, like, explaining himself perfectly, all right? He, his brain just works in, like, the most insanely entertaining way possible, okay? You, it, it's, it's hard for me to explain and articulate, but speaking of the word articulate, he does it perfectly. He gets off exactly what he's thinking of and is able to break down so many things, right? Like, political, he does a lot of political shit every now and then he'll react to. Or just dumbasses in general, and absolutely just, he, he's a pretty much immune to L's. Also, like, one of the best communities on fucking Twitch. His mother, unfortunately, passed away last year. He took, like, months off Twitch, came back just as strong. Um, during the classic WoW days, it was, like, my, the peak of COVID for me, honestly. Just watching his streams every fucking day, playing World of Warcraft Classic. It was amazing. Um, and he was on the top of Twitch for a long time, and he still is. So, instant S, huge inspiration. He knows what the fuck it means to be a Twitch streamer. And even even just a social media influencer in general. Even though he's not, like, he doesn't play by those rules, he's able to identify people very, very well. Um, Atrioke, okay, I heard of this guy today. Literally today, I saw him on uh, live stream fails when I was browsing through Reddit this morning. He cried on stream? Because he admitted to watching deep fake porn of, like, Pokimane? And, like, had a meltdown on stream. It's like, uh, what? I don't know. I don't know him outside of that. I have no clue who he is. Um, but I saw that, and that's like, why? Like, what? Um, so I'm going to put him in D for that, maybe. Oh, he paid for it? That, I mean, it's something to be embarrassed, but, like, he had a full-on meltdown. All right. Austin Show. This is the guy that does the E-dates, right? This is the guy that does the E-dates. Um, I've, I've, I've followed him for a while. I've never intensely watched him, 
but I've heard he puts on like a good a good show at least. Yeah, I'd say he's B. Um, he he knows what he's doing. Like, and I, I I've lurked there a long time before, and it's like entertaining. I never know what the fuck is going on, but it, he brings on cool guests, and I I guess I, I don't know like that much about his structure and what he does, but like from the moments I've lurked, it's cool. All right, Bruce. Yo, what's up, Zach? W name change. Bruce. I don't know if I want to rank him because he's like highly controversial right now. Um, he just recently got permanently banned on Twitch for a reason that's like really controversial. Um, although to an extent he did say some like his content as far as I've seen seems okay. He, he seems like a pretty entertaining guy from what I've watched, right? At least on like just chatting and shit, right? Why'd he get banned? So, he basically, like, called out Twitch for being racist. Um, but then he went on his alt account, called Twitch racist, and then said some shit, like, he called them, like, uh, crackers, which I think I can say, but, um, and then he told them to KYS, which is extremely bannable, um, and now is throwing, like, a hissy fit over it, so, like, that's not really okay. Um, and he did that on his alt account as form of ban evasion, so then he just got banned on his main anyway. So, yeah, he's permanently banned. For that, I gotta give him B. Like, I don't really respect that. Like, you don't, like, he he got banned on his alt and streamed on his main and got banned for ban evasion. Yeah, you, you go on your alt, it's the same thing as going on your main. It's ban evasion in the purest form. Um, you can't just go on your alt to say something bannable. Like, that's ban evasion. Um, so he's acting like a child D tier. Yeah, I'll just put him in low B because, like, I don't know that much about this situation. What is Twitch actually racist? I don't know. I don't want to get in the middle of it, right? Booga, I watched him back in the day when he won the World Cup. He's massively fallen off. In forms of, like, content, it's like, okay, he's good at the video game, but he was never, like, that entertaining. He was, like, a keyboard cam streamer. Like, he was just playing the fucking video game. Like, he wasn't make, he wasn't like Ninja, right? Where he was actually making, like, insane content on Fortnite, playing with Drake and Travis Scott. He just, like, was a pro. And he's kind of falling off now. So I got to give him, like, low C for that. Like, good for the skill, but, like, he hasn't, he didn't do much as a content creator. You know what I mean? Uh, Clicks. Clicks. Okay. Clicks is, I'd say he's better than Booga for content creating, at least. Um, I en I've enjoyed what I've seen from Clicks a bit. Um, I think, I, I, I haven't watched him too, too much. But, okay, all the clips I see from him are just him trying to, like, bag a bitch or whatever. It, and it's, like it's really really cringe or like him crying over some girl literally every clip so i'll put him high b i think he's like kind of entertaining um but also cringe at the same time but like more entertaining than cringe like just a, a hint of cringe you know what i mean so yeah it is it is funny seeing him fail so he's like but um all right cloaksy cloaksy all right so i honestly haven't watched him that much since way back in the day when he used to be like tifu's partner right is what everyone used to know him as and, I, and I've seen him, he's been, like, doing, he plays with, like, Ninja, Tim the Tatman. He's, like, been averaging a lot of viewers I've seen. But I haven't genuinely watched him in probably a good three, four years, unfortunately. Right? And I, I didn't even watch him when he started playing War. Actually, no, I did when he played, like, Tim and them when Warzone first came out. But other than that, yeah, I'd say he's, he's probably, like, low A. He's probably, like, low A. He's stuck, a, like, I haven't watched him personally. But he has stuck around, and it's probably for a reason, right? His content's probably there. Courage JD. Um, I watched him hardcore back in the Fortnite days. I feel like he's just a sellout nowadays, man. Like, I feel like he's just riding off the coattails of his of his glory days from Fortnite. I never really I always thought he was semi cringe, right? He kind of blew up off that Mr. Beast video. But he was already playing with Ninja in them. But he was kind of like he was kind of like the Carl. Of the ninja squads. You know what I mean? Like ninja would play with. Uh, T, uh, not Tifu. He'd play with like. Tim the Tatman. Dr. Lupo. And Courage. And Courage was probably my least favorite out of those. You know what I mean? So I I'll put him like high C. But yeah. Okay. Uh, Seer. I've heard of him. Never really watched him. Dakotaz. Um, so yeah. He also used to be a big fucking. Big fucking uh, Fortnite guy. And I, I haven't seen him. Like, I've seen his numbers haven't been incredible recently. I still follow him. I think he does variety shit. But, like, I just feel like he hasn't pivoted off that well. 
I'm going to put him, like, in low C. I, I haven't watched him that long. He used to be that fucking guy. He would wear snorkel ops back in the day on Fortnite. That was, those were the days, but... Dan's Gaming. So he has his own Twitch emote, and that's the only reason I follow him. But I've actually watched his streams, and they're actually pretty good. He's he's a massive variety streamer, just chill shit, right? And I kind of enjoy it. Um, I've always found him out annoying, like a grown squeaker. Who? Dakotas? Um, so yeah, Dan's Gaming. I put him at low B. He, se he seems like he knows what he's doing. Um, don't know this guy. Uh, Toast. Uh, don't watch. Dr. Disrespect. All right, I used to watch him all the fucking time back when he was on Twitch. Ever since he moved to YouTube, I've never watched him. Literally never. But he knows what he's doing. All right, I, I, we still don't know what he was banned for, right? But he definitely knows what he's doing. It's He's just an entertaining guy. Like, every fucking, like, there's always clips of him. He's stayed relevant. Dude, no, he's not 6'5". Dude, Dr. Disrespect. Dr. Disrespect. Height. Bro is, like, 6'8". Yeah. Literally, he's 6'8". He's fucking massive. Look at him next to Ninja. Or, no, what is it? Next to Shroud. The, the, the photo of him next to Shroud is just, yeah. Oh, and technically Ninja. But dude is a giant literal giant yeah he is massive so he did cheat on his wife that's not why he was banned bro that's not why he was banned but but yeah he he's a he's a great personality uh, he knows what he's doing I, I love like he plays a character to an extent but he's also like making his own game and that seems to be going good he is like doing what he loves truly you know what i mean like he's in it because he has a passion for gaming and for entertaining like with his whole personality, all the fucking, dude, he pours probably over a million dollars into all his fucking graphics and shit for his streams, like, the production level is out of this world, without being cringy is one thing, right, he plays it off to be, like, funny, like, oh my god, bro spent, like, a million dollars on this green screen background, it's funny, right, I, and I like that, um, so he plays it off incredibly well, I love Dr. Disrespect, he'll probably end up, like, low S, Dream, bro, I, like, he just, like, is, isn't he canceled because of the accusations? I never found him, like, funny in the first place. Um, I did watch, like, his manhunts way back in the day. They're obviously scripted. Um, and then the, the whole, like, dream SMP shit, I was never into. It's all, like, it, it, it's, it's really weird how they, like, created such, like, a diehard fan base. But it's almost like none of them want that fan base because they're so cringe. But then they actively pursue them by making cringe content. And it's like almost like they're aware, but they're still doing it nonetheless because they get money, which I don't respect. So where do schools I have no clue. I mean, uh, so yeah, I'm giving an F. F to dream. I've never I've never really liked his content. Dr. Lupo. Um, another person I haven't watched in a long time. He went to YouTube and he had the best fucking transition. He said, I have a wife and kids. I want the money to support them. I'm going to YouTube. And everyone accepted it. Being straight up like that goes a long fucking way. So, yeah. And, and from, from what I've seen, way back in the day, I loved his streams, bro. Way back when he played uh, Fortnite with Ninja and shit. I would always watch his stream. Like, he was just chill as fuck. Very mature. Never would, like, bait shit. Never, like, very, very respectable. So, he's probably, like, low A for me. Uh, Dunk stream. I didn't know. I don't watch his streams, but I watch his YouTube videos. Dunky. Um, Elves Path. I don't know. Emaru. Don't know. E Rob. Okay, I don't watch him, but I know a lot about him. Uh, from like the circle he's in. As fan. Instant A. Instant. I'm putting him like. I'll put him like here. He's another WoW streamer. I watched him all the fucking time back in the day. I actually would like play WoW with him. I was like in a couple of his parties sometimes. Um, great, great guy. Also, what he's done with OTK. Um, love that shit. Same with Asmongold. OTK is doing great. Um, so yeah, I love Ezfan. I think he's funny as fuck. Great guy. Great content creator. Um, love him. Forzen. I fucking love... Forzen is funny as fuck. Alright? He... Dude, like... He, right now, he's in that... Because XQC beat him in the Minecraft speedrun, right? So he's just diehard streaming that shit. But I just... Dude will stream the most random shit. And it's, it's actually really funny. Also, his community is insanely good. Like, his chat, never a dull moment. His chat is, like, 
on par with everything that's fucking happening. They're never like, oh, at like weird chat. Like, why are they going that direction? Like, they're always in tune. There's never like an off moment for him that I've seen. He's never like had like a bad, like cancelable moment or like, oh, that's questionable. Why do you want to do that? That's weird. You know? So I, I put him at high A. I love Forzen. Uh, don't know her. Don't know her. George not found. Another F. Uh, Hikaru. W motherfucking chess streamer. Bro is literally a genius. And he's also entertaining as fuck. I, I don't know chess that well. I've played a couple times. But his streams are entertaining. I see his TikTok clips all the time. He's just a great personality. Um, I'm going to put him like at high A. He's a high A for me. Oh my god. GGX. Bro, GGX is so fucking funny. W transformation. All right, dude. Uh, look at this. Look at this. Greek, bro. Look at this. Greek uh, god X transformation. Bro, he lost so much fucking weight. It's insane. He had an insane transformation. Look at that. He was funny as fuck way back in the day. I haven't watched him too, too much recently. Although I still see clips of him on TikTok every now and then, right? But he was funny as fuck way back in the day. Really entertaining to watch. The dude's just always laughing about some shit. He's definitely like a high A for me. Yeah, he he's he's like up here for me. Um, Hachubby, know her, don't watch her, don't know him. Hassan! Bro. Hassan. Hassan has a lot of L takes, okay? A lot of L takes. I hate the way he parry chick shit from chat. Alright, this is common. Hassan, he'll sit back in his chair, right? This is Hassan. He'll go like this. Ready? No, this, wait, wait. I gotta make my face cam big as fuck. Alright, this is Hassan. I don't know him. Dude, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't know him. Yeah, mods, ban this fucking guy. This guy's a fucking alt-right normie, bro. Get him the fuck out of here. That's literally every... He parry chick shit every time. All his content is, is watching Jubilee, finding an alt-right normie in his chat. It's always a first-time fucking chatter, and then he he the, he gets a whole chat to shit on them. It, it's, like, funny when he does it, but it's every clip I see of him. And it's it's just like, dude... Like, come on. But he does that. He's good at articulating himself. I just feel like he's mostly in the wrong a lot of times. Um, so I, I'll put him at, I'll put him at like, he's probably like a mid A. He would be higher if he just wasn't like cherry picking every fucking second. All right. Healthy gamer. Oh my God. Instant S. Instant motherfucking S. This guy has to be the most pure human I have ever watched. If you don't know healthy gamer, he's basically like, uh, therapist, therapist slash, slash, like, psychologist, um, something like that, I think mostly, like, a therapist on Twitch, right, and he'll bring in people who just are at low points in their life, whether it's chatters or streamers, and holy shit, some of the, like, it's better than any podcast I've ever watched, if you want to just see something that is, like, deeply inspiring, watch Healthy Gamer, GG, Asmongold. This shit right here is just like awe-inspiring. The conversations they have. They've done, yeah, they've done two. It's just incredible. The dude is, finds motivation. He can pick anyone up off the ground. It is insane. Absolutely insane. And the way he like draw, he's literally a genius, first off. I think he went to Harvard. And the way he can find like relevant things for people in their lives and like analogies just things i've never heard of he draws shit from like 1300s like um mentalities from the fucking chinese dynasties of like their way of life and how they would inspire each other just so he can pick someone up off their ground and make it highly relevant to their life bro is incredible at figuring people out and and just helping and I, he's incredible. He's just incredible. Slicker, fuck him. Bro is a crypto scammer. Absolute ass. Scammed so many fucking people out of their money. He was like a decent streamer. <laughs> I'll admit. He was kind of funny. I Like there were decent clips of him. Like way back like 2018 and shit. Bro's a fucking L human being. He like, didn't he like fake cancer and shit? Um, to like get money to gamble. Lost it all. 
L man. He, he deserves to be irrelevant for the rest of the time. All right, Jacksepticeye. Um, I watch his YouTube videos. I don't really watch him as, like, a streamer. But, like, he stuck around for a long-ass time for a good reason. I'd put him probably, like, low, like, like, like low A. Um, I just personally haven't got too, too much into him. I used to watch, like, his Happy Wheels shit way back in the day. But this is my personal list, okay, Swan? For me, he's, like, a low A. Uh, Jake Bake, li Jake and Bake Live. Bro, uh, he, he lives in, like, Japan. I watch him a decent amount. He does, he's, like, an IRL streamer who lives in Japan and shit. He, like, knows the full language. And he's pretty entertaining. He's had a lot of clips, like, pop off that I love to watch. Um, and, yeah, dude is, like, definitely dedicated to, to his content. I love what he does. Um, you know, he, st he sticks with one thing, basically just, like, streaming Japan for all of the world to see. And he makes it pretty interesting. So, yeah. Just cooked on L. Carl Jacobs. Instant F. Lyric. Lyric is fucking insane. Lyric is great. Um, one of the best fucking variety streamers ever. Like, for a no-cam streamer, right? He is my go-to person. I, and I've told this to Travis before. If you want to stream on Twitch, and you don't want to show your cam, you just want to talk, play some games, he should be your inspiration. Alright? Bro has no-cam his entire fucking career, and just... Play, he's he doesn't like scream in the mic. He's just chill. He plays a bunch of single player games with his chat, and it's chill as fuck, right? It's just chill as fuck, and he and it's entertaining. It's just it's just like I don't want to say it, but it's like a like a comfort stream. You know what I mean? Like it's just it's just like oh yeah, it's a nice little Sunday. I'm doing some homework. I don't want to be in a chat where I have to like feel pressure to be active or like or like highly engaged in it. I'll just like leave it up lurk and. It's, it's nice. Well, now I do this to Travis. But, yeah, Lyric is an incredibly good. I, I'll, I'll probably put him actually, like, high A. I'll put him in high A for sure. Loser Fruit, don't watch. Uh, Ludwig. Ludwig is definitely... I'm putting him low S. He has done so much content-wise, right? Um, I definitely look up to him. He... First off, the subathon thing was revolutionary. People did subathons before him. I don't think he was the first... But no one did it like him, right? And I think everyone can realize that. He definitely popularized the subathon. One of the biggest things for the entire platform, right? And on top of that, he just knows how to make a lot of original good content. He's entertaining. I love what he does with his YouTube, right? Aside from streaming, with his YouTube, he does, like, YouTube on stream stuff. And then he also does, like, off-stream YouTube stuff. That's something I personally am interested in doing. Like, two different channels, kind of, like, for that. Love it. It's really good. I love, like, you can truly tell, like, what he makes videos on, he's passionate about. I look up to him in a big way. Um, so Ludwig, definitely S. Don't know. Moxie. Yes. Moxie is, I'm just going to put him in front of Aiden Ross to piss people off. I love, I love Moxie. Um, he's basically just, like, XQC's sidekick in a way. Um, he's funny as fuck, though. He's a no-cammer. Common Augur L. You just don't fucking know him. That doesn't make it an L, Okay. He's, I like him a lot, all right? He is the iconic XQC duo from back in the day, and he's just funny as fuck. I love him. Markiplier, he's definitely in that same uh, tier as Jacksepticeye. I'm just going to put him right next to there, and I'm not going to talk too much about him. Same things apply for Markiplier, as I said to Jack. Miz. Uh, he's had a lot of fucked up shit going around, around him recently. That, like, I just don't know. I don't really want to rank him, bro. Because, like, he's been entertaining sometimes. But then, like, I genuinely don't enjoy his streams that much. I'm going to put him around, like... I'll put him next to Bruce. Because they are both... Yeah, I'm going to put him, like, low B. Because they're both, like, very controversial right now. And, I like, I've seen some entertaining moments, but not incredibly. Like, they're not someone I'd necessarily gravitate towards yet. Moist critical, definitely S. I'm gonna put him like I'm probably gonna put him like around here. I'll put him above healthy gamer. Um, yeah. There's not much to say about Moist. You know Moist, you know him. Um his YouTube videos, his streams, everything about him. He knows he's he's like a lot like Asmongold in that sense. I think Asmongold is by far better than him. Not by far, but like in every category, like I would just say he's better than Moist Critical, right? But I still like Moist Critical. Um, he plays it out of the fuck. He's he's like very dry, 
um, humor, and it, it's, it comes off very well. Um, he's great at just, like, just, like, he can have moments of silent silence that will last, like, 30 seconds in an edited YouTube video that, like, I don't mind because it's just, like, he's, you can tell he's, like, processing. Like, it's just funny. You know what I mean? He's just funny. His pacing and, like, his speech is funny. His jokes, like, like or just, like, serious moments. Er, like, he just, like, knows what he's doing to be entertaining. You know what I mean? Without trying hard at all. Just by being himself. And that is very inspirational. So, yeah. Moist and his voice is, yeah, his voice too. So, yeah, he's definitely S. Mongrel, I don't really watch his streams. I'm going to put him probably around, like, clicks, probably lower than clicks. Um, I have a, same thing with, like, being um, a, a Fortnite pro that, like, I don't know if they pivoted off in the best sense. I'm probably going to put him, like, low B. I just don't watch him that much anymore. Um, but not at his peak, honestly, I'll put him in high A, though. At his peak, he was funny as fuck. Um, and, like, his clips, bro, like... Thank you. Yup. <laughs> oh, my God! No! Shit, bro. That's so... Why the fuck is there a sword in this game? Oh. Shing! Shing! Same, Zach. That's so annoying. <laughs> Wait, is this not it? Are you fucking serious? Oh, yeah. Why the fuck is Thanos in the game? Sing, 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 sing! Sing, sing, sing! Why? Is that in the game? Sing, sing! I, I wasted like 700. Yo, okay, okay. Okay, all right, Moon Moon. I fucking hated him back in the day. I haven't heard of his name. I haven't heard his name in like three years. I hated him back in the day. Him and XQC had beef. That's kind of why. Um, But yeah, definite, definite F. Uh, Mr. T Lexfy, I watched his like zombie shit back in the day i'll put him at like b i don't have that much of an opinion on it i watched him a bit for like zombies tutorials that was about it myth myth has done like decent i like i feel like he didn't have the best pivot off fortnite right but he's done his thing i'd put him at b he stuck he stood a little bit he stuck around for an extent you know what i mean but it's not like the best nick Merks. nick Merks is good I'll put him, yeah, he's he's probably in B as well. Like, I never really enjoyed his content that much. I mean, he's probably, like, high B. Like, I, actually, no, I'll put him low A, low A. Like, I enjoyed his content back when he was, like, playing Warzone and shit. It was really cool when Warzone first came out. But at the same time, I just don't, like, I never found him, like, incredibly entertaining. He's kind of chill and just, like, decent at the game. Um... Like, I feel like he was just kind of, like, popular because he was popular. You get what I mean by that? So, like, I don't know. Ninja. Okay, Ninja. For what he's done, he's probably, like, a high A. Um, how much has he stuck around? And how did he pivot off Fortnite? Not incredibly well, right? But what he did for the platform, what he did for gaming is undeniable. Okay, there, there's no, there's no, there's no arguing against it, okay? Twitch, like, took off a lot because of him. Um, he did this shit with uh, Drake, Travis Scott, way back in the day. I mean, everyone knew Ninja. Your mom knew Ninja. Your teacher knew Ninja. Everyone fucking did. All right? He, he's, he's good. Um, but, okay, let's keep going. Let's go faster. Nimp, I know a lot about him. Don't watch him personally. Noah J456. I used to watch him all the fucking time back in the day. His YouTube tutorials were the shit. Incredible zombies guy. Didn't really watch him anything outside of zombies, but pretty entertaining guy for what he did. Um, I'll put him probably like around here. Poke! Poke is so fucking funny. He's up there with Greek in my opinion. Yeah, he's actually funnier than Greek in my opinion. Over Andy. Andy needs to actually take it down a little bit. Um, personally love that Dream is an F tier. Yup. Um, but yeah, Poke is definitely an A. He is so fucking funny. Like, dude is... I, I, I love I love his style of humor um and just like how he tr is like very like carefree is awesome I, I I love him I love him um Pokemane bro I gotta put her like low C like Amaranth is more attractive all right um I'm kidding I'm kidding I'm kidding she makes real content chill out um I'll put her like 
B. Like she 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 has had some decent points. She probably gets a little more hate than she deserves, right? But some of it is a little bit of bait. There is some bait involved, which is a little like okay. I'll put her like hot low B for me. She's a low B. Rich Campbell, he is definitely like yeah, he's he's up there with Oh wait. No. He's fucked. He's fucked. He like um, essayed a girl, like, really badly, um, really, really badly, just came out last month, um, unfortunately, he was, like, pretty entertaining, essay, se sexual assault, uh, it was really, really, like, R word, uh, bad, like, it was bad, um, and the shit that came out about him, and it was all true, it was not allegations, she had receipts, had proof, it was, it was bad, Bad shit. Yeah, I gotta put him in F for that. I, I unfortunately liked him as a guy before then. Um, but bad shit. Um, and the scary thing is it, it happened like in New York City, not too far from me. Shroud fucking W. I love Shroud. Bro is not human. He is not fucking human. Dude is insane at video games, okay? Um just wild. He's also entertaining. He's he's fun to watch, play a lot of games. Um, I, yeah, I gotta put him, I gotta put him, like, above Ninja, honestly. I like him a lot. Soda, fucking W. Soda, W. Um, bro is funny as fuck. Say, a lot of things that I said about, like, Po, I'm probably gonna put him high A. I love Soda. He's great. Um, plays, like, any game. A lot of what I said about, like, Lyric and Forzen, actually, sorry, above Forzen. Above Forzen, for sure. Um, yeah, a lot of the things I said about Forzen, a lot of things I said about Lyric apply to him. He could probably be S tier. He's been around for such a long time. He's funny as fuck. He streams whatever. He's very carefree. Um, and yeah, I, 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 lo I, I love a lot of things about him. Spamfish, don't know. Summit, why is he on here twice? I'll put one down here. Summit, I love. Summit's pretty good. Um, I honestly don't find him like incredibly like engaging. Like he's entertaining, but not necessarily engaging. You get what I mean by that? So, I think he's probably going to be like, yeah, he's probably like mid A for me. Um, like he does decent content. He's decent at games. He's done shit with like an org and, and like CSGO way back in the day. But for me, just like, not, he doesn't do anything for me really. Um, Don't know. Sweet Anita. Oh yeah. Yeah. She's pretty good. I haven't watched too much of her, but um, I believe she she has Tourette's, right? And she's done very well with her streaming career, um, and done good with like um, like the the disability scene and whatnot, and like putting it on for the community and in in a, in a, uh, a a good manner. Um, yeah, like oh, there there's been like some clips that are like, oh, they look damning, but then like she she is very well at like explaining herself. You know what I mean? Um, so I, I think she's put on Twitch for, for a, a good, a good, a good way. You know what I mean? Uh, don't know. Syndicate. Don't watch. Uh, Cypher. I don't, wait, he's, oh wait, of course he streams. Am I fucking stupid? Uh, Cypher. He's pretty good. Dude has done really good with Fortnite content, actually making it like engaging. I'm going to put him like low A. He's done really good. Like he's actually surviving and playing Fortnite in the current meta. You know what I mean? Uh, YouTube meta, I'm speaking, right? So, I, I like him a lot. I like him a lot. Tifu. All right. He has not had the best pivot off Fortnite, right? But still good. I think he's entertaining as fuck. I like his content, right? He's fun to watch. He's a little repetitive. He's a little, like, 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 with his, like, with his, um, content, he's kind of repetitive. Like, he doesn't, like, do anything new, I feel, he plays games and is good at them, and I feel like that's kind of all he has going for him. Um, and he's, like, semi-funny and entertaining, like, base level. But he doesn't, like, do anything new. You know what I mean? He just does what's there. So, I'm going to give him, like, low A for that. Uh, Tim the Tapman, definitely a high A for me. I haven't watched him too much since he got off Twitch. Um, but, like, he's been doing really good on YouTube from what I've seen. I've watched some of his videos since he's gone to YouTube. Another family man like Dr. Lupo. I got to put him like like around here. You know, he's stuck around and for good reason. He's been he's been around for forever 
and I love his content. You know, he's funny, he's engaging, um, and he does he does what he can with like good content. He's, he kind of is a little stagnant in that sense with like actually like you know diversifying a lot, but he's still good. Um, Tommy in it. Don't have to explain. Um, train. Okay, Train is like, okay, bro got his bag, respect him for that, right? But, like, ethically speaking, like, I've, I've heard he's done some shady things. Um, he, he, he's off Twitch to just gamble more. He's just the definition of a degenerate. But I do find him funny. I do find him engaging. I think before gambling was a big thing for him, I actually liked him. Um... I'm going to put him at, like, yeah, I'm going to – but he's also a good guy. He gives back to his community a lot. For someone to be, like, the face of gambling, he's a good guy for it. You know what I mean? I, I like him as a person. Um, His content route is, like, okay, you did get the bag, but, like, he just gambles. You know, so it's hard to say he makes, like, insane content. He kind of is, though, Trav. All right? Um, But, yeah, I'll put, I'll put him, like, mid to high A for me. Tyler, bro. T1, he's he's definitely a high S. He's a fucking OG to the platform. He's up there with Soda. Funny as fuck. Good at League, right? I don't even I don't even like League, but he streams a lot. His fucking Overwatch 2 clips were a little bit of a resurgence, right? That was those were funny as fuck. Um yeah, I lo I love I love T1. I mean, yeah, his den, like he's just highly entertaining. You know what I mean? Um whether it's he's trying too hard or not, some people might say, but just a highly entertaining guy. Um, XQC. Alright. You probably already know what I think of XQC based on what I've been saying the rest of this uh, entire uh, list, right? A lot of these people I found through XQC. I only actually started watching Twitch because of him. Um, because I, I was a YouTube normie. And one day I decided to pick up a copy of Overwatch. I didn't even know what the game was. I was just a normal YouTube guy who watched Minecraft YouTube shit. Um, I went to Target, saw, oh yeah, I watched a trailer of this game called Overwatch. Um, and it's by, and Activision is like making it, and it's by the same company that makes Call of Duty. So that's cool, right? I just got a PS4 for Christmas, like a Christmas or two ago. Um, or no, like a couple Christmases ago or whatever. And, um... And then I got Overwatch. I started watching a lot of YouTube content on Overwatch. And then one day I saw a clip say, oh, XQC got banned off Twitch again. I'm like, what? Well, who is this guy? And, like, why do people care about him? And I saw the clip. I started watching him on Twitch. And it was all it, – it, it all stemmed from there. And 50-month sub nowadays. I've watched him since, like, 2018. Um, or, or I think maybe late 2017. Whenever he, uh, like, the year he got into Owl, right? And I, I, I just think he's, he's stuck around for good reason. I'm glad he's number one on Twitch. I mean, back when I used to watch him, he was averaging, like, the low, low, low thousands. I mean, I remember there were days where he was in the hundreds. It's not like a massive OG, like, oh, day one, man. But he makes good content. He's kind of gone into, like, reaction shit recently, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I don't even watch him that much anymore. It's just kind of stream myself. But... I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. All right, I, I'm not, like, a dick rider. I don't try to copy him, per se, but a lot of, like, my personality kind of stems from him in a sense because I just watched him since middle school for hours every single motherfucking day. Um, so I try to diversify from him. I'm not trying to be him. If I wanted to be him, I would just watch him because I don't want to make something that someone else is already making that's fucking dog shit. Just watch the person who's actually making it. Why be a derivative of someone else, right? But... I think he's funny as fuck and probably the most entertaining streamer on the platform. Don't know, don't know. Zoyo is a friend of XQC's, but don't watch him. All right, that's my list. What do you guys think? W, L, 1 through 10, rate it. Um, yeah, I think, it, I think it's pretty decent. Um, yeah, I stand by everything I said. Uh, and if you guys have any other comments that you want to leave, leave them in the comments down below. All right, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, let me know if I made any mistakes. All right, see you in the next video. Peace.